and welcome back to the Sonic 3D Blast commentary. And now we enter the Rusty Ruins with some ep cool music. I love the music for this stage. Although the music is probably the most enjoyable part of the stage because the rest of the stage is kind of annoying when you're trying to make sure you have 50 rings without getting hit. Yes. Yeah. God damn, everything... This place has two things that could be in... Well, three things that I think they... I think they have a turret somewhere in this stage. Yes, that's somewhere anyway. So the things that are annoying, one, those things. Made once if there's more than one at a time. Two, there's flamethrowers. <sighs> and dear god, I hate flamethrowers. And three... Oh, hi Tails. I wonder why I can get you. It's blocked. Gotta find my own way. I wonder why you're not supposed to dash. This is why it's have to spin dash the wall. So it's just so that it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't, sadly. Uh. Okay, how did the flickies get hurt? I don't know. And that shows the first example of something that's gonna be really annoying later. Also, this is the longest part in the playthrough, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, second mm -hmm. longest, because technically I, I kind of pushed the, like, a lot of level, like, two long uh, levels together. Which would be mm. um, Volcano Valley and Gene Gadget, my two least favorite. Well, yeah, my two least favorite levels of the game. Well, on the, actually, no, I think this this and Gene Gadget might be my least favorite technically, level design wise. But Gene Gadget. Now welcome to Sonic Ballet. <laughs> you speed me right, right round, right round, like a record, baby. Yeah. But um, my least favorite level is Gene Gadget Act Two specifically. We see that when we get there. Why I hate it, but other than that, yeah. this level is not the most enjoyable, for me, especially if you're trying to get the chaos emeralds in these stages. Oh, also, throwing Sonic is a little difficult to control. Yes, uh, you can bounce off walls really easy, which can screw you up. Yeah. Also, you can't jump and stay swirly, and yeah. Yeah, if you if you jump it deactivates and you gotta go back and hit another fan again. Yeah. Yeah. Another fun fact, this uh, the special stage music is actually the first portion of Windy Valley's music. Really slowed down and slightly remixed. Yeah, well it's not really remixed, it's just slowed down. Uh no, it's definitely different. Were you floating? Yes. Okay, where's the emeralds? The stairs, I swear. There they are. <laughs> but it is, it is different, I, I can assure you of that, because it, I, I slowed down the special stage music and listened to them side by side, there is differences. Mm. Oh. This stage is gonna go on for lo too long. Well, this is gonna be good music. Yeah, and oh god damn it. Ugh. The bouncing is the most, one of the more annoying parts of this, because I just gotta be careful not to bounce off anything, or I might hit a flamethrower or something. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest problem. Also, I think I don't get any more um, of the Chaos Emeralds in this stage, because I'm pretty sure I. I can't, like, get him. Cause I try to find, like, Knuckles, but I can't find him. Or can't reach him in some cases. Uh, uh by the way, yeah, that's, that's most definitely the Sprite Bright for Sonic 3. What is? The life jungle. Yeah. You know, I'm not sure they could do a lot with this for a 3D classic. Eh. You know, this is like they could, they could, they could make it really make this look really make this pop in yeah. 3D. I mean, if one looks at this Sonic model, it looks like it's like the transitioning period between classic and like adventure. Yeah. Cause he look, he looks like he's starting to get skinnier. And we got a oh well, we had a flame shield. It is. Or did we? We couldn't see it, so maybe, maybe he didn't have it in the first place. Well, then I got lucky that I didn't get loose any rings <laughs> or flickies. <laughs> You know, I mean, 
and like my tradition of short of Sonic games, I do it all. Well, unless there's a reason I stopped, I did it all one go. Oops. Sonic yeah. Two being the only real exception because of two things that caused me having to do it in multiple goes. One, I just got sick of the special stages and joining for those that just wanted to play. And two, Metropolis Zone Act Two. Yep. That is all. <laughs> That's all it really needs to be said about it. Ugh. But yeah, I think I think Super Mario Land was the first game I ever did all in one go. Like, for recording, that is. And the hard enough. Why would you do two goes? That's so short. It's, 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 it's so extremely short. There's no point. And I think that game was probably sold at full price. That game is shorter than a demo of a game sometimes is. Well... Sure, the demos nowadays. I wonder what a how long a demo of Mario Land would be. One one. Even then, that might be a little too long. <laughs> yeah. So it's one of those thirty second demos in Brawl. <laughs> no, it'd be like five seconds in Brawl. <laughs> I see. No, you know those are still in uh, Wii U, so it's not just Brawl. Oh, yeah, well, I just know I just default to brawl because well, I have brawl. <laughs> you also and, have four. Like, well, yeah, but <laughs> not, uh, in, not in the context of the games and stuff. That's no. Yeah. I don't have the console version. You only have the I don't have the console. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> yes. Maybe one day. Oh, God damn! It, I swear I pushed the sweat button in the scroll, but Sonic didn't want to roll. He didn't want to roll. I swear I jumped over that pit. I swear I pressed the button. I okay, okay, Elliot, I believe you. I don't. <laughs> I jumped. Elliot, seriously? No, I, I will full, I will fully admit I've had that problem plenty of times. Where it's just like, you press the button just a little bit too late and you don't jump. I don't know if Elliot, it happens too often. Mm, it's not rare occurrence, though. Oh uh, boy, this stage is gonna go on for way too long because this is me looking for rings and trying to find knuckles. Yeah. Trust me, the later stages are a lot quicker. I give up at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll get the rest and didn't look in my head. I'm thinking, I'll get the other two in Act Two. <laughs> yep. Oh, so you think. And now Act 2 remakes. Wait, I don't really like. I prefer the Act 1 by a lot. Also, if you're wondering what those spinning Sonic head things are, they're not actually lives. They're, um... I think they're just points. Cause, yeah, okay. You see Knuckles up there? I never get up there. I don't even know how the hell you do. You saw Knuckles, I think, right? I, I, yeah, I, I'm thinking... Maybe it's a warp from a different section. Yeah, but I looked around in every section, I couldn't find it any, any way at all. I found tails, but... Huh. Did you bust, did you try busting through the walls? Yep. Hmm. I didn't see any walls with like, any cracked walls at all. Like, there was... Uh, but... So, I, I take it slowly because I had, like... 50 rings and no, that I need to keep them. But the ability just basically says, you know, I'm just gonna go. Also, there's a life there. Oh, well, that's good to know. I didn't think, I didn't even, there's like, I find some things in this playthrough that I never knew about. Bust through the wall, bust through the wall, you gotta spin dash. You can't, that one's not breakable. It's not? Uh, it doesn't look breakable. The ones that are breakable don't look breakable. The ones that are breakable look almost the exact same. But then why do the walls I see always have cracks on them? The, those ones, like if it's if it's breakable, there's literally no visual difference. Well, that's stupid because there's the ones that look the same that you can't break. What's the? What me, what's the... Oh, yeah, I see knuckles up there. Yeah. And. And back over here. 
How am I supposed to know which ones are breakable, which are not? I don't want to have to spin that every single. <laughs> that was me just getting way too close to the. And just continue past me. No, past me. Don't just give up. Good. Now continue. Ugh. This place is so repetitive. But, eh, it's more fun to probably play this than come to watch. Yeah. Hmm. Try to get a, remember how this works. Okay, I can just jump. <laughs> so, what's your experience with 3D Blast, at least? Oh, we didn't talk about the final thoughts of Sonic Smile Land. Oh, yeah, because... We didn't get a chance to. Yeah, yeah, we might as well do that here. Uh, um, weird placement. <laughs> yeah, sorry about this, guys, but, uh... Basically, it's okay, but it's not great. It's it's a nice little game if you just want someone to play like, in a short period of time. But Same with me, but... It wouldn't be the first thing to go to. In the words of Breath of Flaw said, uh, Dave... Sequel is better. Yeah, either way, the sequel is better. <laughs> it's not wrong. Yeah. But back to, as I was saying. But they, but they really kind of murder that song for the second one. What? It's like, it's like the song for the second one. Like, they do beat up on it at times. On the second game? Yeah. How so? I don't. I don't really know the lyrics. What? Well. Uh, they don't necessarily beat up on it, but they don't c compliment it a whole lot in the song. Mainly because, like, a good po uh, mainly because the chord of the song is Brental Flot screaming because there's a freaking claw in Mario's eye. Yeah. That's, like, basically, like, a quarter of the song. Well, the song's only, like, what, two minutes? So, like, I hate that flame placement, by the way. Uh,. Because the song's only like two minutes long, of course, like, then it's like 20 seconds long. Also, damn flamethrower is so pain in the ass. I was trying to say earlier, what's your uh, experience with 3D Blast? Um. I can't really. Like, I don't really know how to answer that properly, personally. I mean. I never really owned the game. I played it on like the Mega Collection Plus. So I played it on emulators. But... You never played it on the Genesis, though. Never, never played it on the actual console. No, I own it, but that's only because the person that moved out like left a box of Genesis games here. But not a Genesis. No, the so, the the power cord games and two controllers, but the Genesis the video games are kind of like not there. Oh, so you might notice I keep going to that one pillar thing that in that one area, that's a small pillar. Because I know it's breakable, but it's not. I find out that it's not until wait up to like the next area. So, to yeah, you, you gotta you, you gotta use you gotta use a spinner in order to break. Yeah, it. I need to come down from a, uh, the next section. Also, uh, I'm kind of like I'm kind of like trying to speed run the game as we're talking, just so I can like test out how to get the knuckles. Uh, Shouldn't take long. Not going to special stages, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but my experience is I played it on the actual Genesis. I, I played most of the Sonic games on the actual Genesis. With the exception of being maybe Sonic. Well, actually, I did eventually play Sonic 1 on the Genesis, but not as a kid. I was later. The only game I've actually. The only Sonic game I actually played on Genesis is Sonic. Too, and that's because of that miniature Genesis that I bought at a store one day. That had like six games built into it. Oh, huh. Yeah, so they're like, what's... I know you can break that, but it's by spinning, but there's no spinning thing here. And I gotta wait till later then. Yeah. And by that point, I don't have the rings. Ugh. <sighs> I believe that's the thing that leads the tails of this act. Yeah, probably. But I never find how to get the knuckles.
that nipples the enchilada. And I fall down. And the, fl the, fl the flames me. Good. Uh, at least we we'll have to this playthrough is done. We can get back to Final Fantasy VII. Yay! Yep. That we can. And I mean, all that could gotta do is pretty much editing of his own stuff. Pretty much. So we don't have to. We can. Yeah, I wanna. I mean, I enjoyed the break, even though it was like what few days. <laughs> yeah, for us it was a few days. For them it's gonna be a few weeks, like a eh, two weeks. Somewhere on there. Well, let's see. At first you did Sonic Advance One, which is four parts. Then I did Ninja Pizza Girl. Ninja Pizza Girl was three. And you did Super Mario Land, which is one. And now I'm doing three This Black, is five. Which is so five. yeah, just a bit over two weeks. Yeah. Wait, one. Darn it! We don't have a two-parter. Why? I was gonna say we had a, we would have a one-parter, a two-parter, a three-parter, a four-parter, and a five-parter. Yeah, but we don't need to do that. <laughs> Ooh! I'm like, I'll come back for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh. I think he's more annoying than anything. Kinda wish they could have had a game like this without the flickies. Kinda wish I could find this last damn bad man. So what are those two flickies I'm missing? Ah. There you are. How far are you right now? I'm in Green Grove Act 2, just finished the first section. Huh. I find that one damn badnik. Okay, look around. Oh god, if you're having troubles in that level, wait till you get the G gadget. <laughs> if you have. Oh. <laughs> I know that feel. It's a terrible feel. G gadget is mainly annoying for one part in Act 2, which is like hell. Also, notice I have only 10 rings. Oh, hi, Tails. Oh, you have no rings here. Oh, what's that? The level doesn't have enough rings left? Oh, boo. That sucks. Take these, then. Here, bitch. She's like pity money. Also, I'm back at the, the earlier part, so I think I... Do I eventually turn around? Oh, I'm just looking for rings at this point. <laughs> Also, I can't see Sonic anymore. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a red ball. <laughs> but again, that's because of the frames. Yeah. This is kind of weird after playing the game when it, when it isn't like this. Yeah. Sonic 2 does as well. Yeah. Because, like, I, always, I pay attention to what I'm actually playing and not what the recording, because I don't want to watch me at 30 frames. Yeah. Like normally, record the recordings almost almost never up to real time. Unless you set it up to sixty, but you didn't have to pay. Yeah. And me don't feel like paying. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily feel like paying. Oh, the there's the two flickies, assholes. <laughs> but we should be almost done because I eventually do give up on rings. Come on. <laughs> oh, as long as this. Yeah, it should be soon. This part's almost over. And this... Oh my god, where is this last bad neck? Oh, speeches. Yeah, I have to be pretty much about done because there's still the boss fight. Okay, I'm almost. God. This turret shot off my flickies. Welcome to my pain. Where the fuck did it go? <laughs> no, don't go back. There's no more rings. You know that. Where did it go? It's like gone. You're probably gonna want to stop because we're pretty much done the part. There's only a boss left. I'm still gonna try to figure it out while we're off recording. Uh, 
Oh my god, where is this flicky? Just a random ass purple flicky flying around somewhere. Oh, another fact I want to one fact I want to bring up before the end of this part. Um, there's actually an unused boss theme in this game. This the un unused boss theme in this game actually gets reused in Sonic the Hedgehog 4 as the boss theme in that game. Yeah. So that. Yeah. I think it's that yeah. one, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That that song is the unused boss music. Yeah. Once I don't really care for that song that much. Yeah, it's not necessarily memorable. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. Stupid freaking fucky. But that it must the end of part two. Next time we enter Spring Stadium, where I can finally get the rest of the chaos symbols. Yay! Well, I found the flicky by then. Find out then. Or maybe not, depending on if we forget about it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs>